Hi everyone. QGIS can create some great looking maps, but if you're creating maps for print publishing, you'll need to get the map into a program like Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape. One of the big advantages of commercial GIS software packages is that they can directly export maps to Illustrator format. QGIS doesn't do that, so we need to find another way to get our maps to their final destination. For this video, I'll assume you're using Illustrator, and there are several ways to get a map from QGIS into it. PNG, DXF, SVG, and PDF. Here's an overview of these. There are two ways to export your work from QGIS. From the main map window, and by using the print layout function. There's only one reason to export directly from the main window using Project Import Export Export, and that's to export your map as an image, a PNG. You might want to do this to place the map directly on a website, although I wouldn't recommend that, or you just need a quick version to print for review. If you need a PNG of your map, export it directly from the main window. Set the resolution as needed. You can also export your map as a PNG using the print layout method, but there's no difference in the result and it involves extra steps, so there's no reason to do it that way. You can also export the project as a DXF file. Illustrator can open DXF files, but I don't recommend this method either. The layer structure doesn't come through consistently, and the relief layer, if you have one, doesn't come through at all. Since exporting directly from the main window has limited usefulness, exporting using the print layout function is the best method. This will get your file into Illustrator in a way that you can make changes to it and keep the layers intact. Here are the steps. Once your map is done, zoom in or out so that the part of the map you want to export is visible on the map canvas. If you want to export the entire map, make sure it all fits on the canvas. Only the part that fits in the map canvas window will be exported. Go to Project New Print Layout. A box will appear. Enter a name and click OK. The Print Layout window will appear. Click on the Add Map button on the left side and drag a box in the window. After a few seconds your map will appear. I usually make the box the full size of the blank page, but you don't have to. You can always scale it in Illustrator. Now you have three options. These are at Layout, Export As. Here are your choices. Export as image. As I mentioned earlier, this doesn't work any differently from directly exporting the map from the main window, so if you want a PNG, use that method. Export as PDF. This option exports your map as a PDF. There are two ways to do this, from the main map window and from the print layout window. According to the QGIS documentation, it should be possible to keep the layer structure intact when exporting as a PDF, but in my experience, it's very unreliable. I've tried a lot of different settings combinations, but I've never been able to get the layer structure to stay intact or to keep the image from getting messed up somehow. The resulting file is unusable in Illustrator, so forget about using PDF. Export as SVG. If your destination is Illustrator or Inkscape, this is the best method. Most importantly, this method preserves the layer structure. Follow these steps. While you're still in the main map window, make sure to turn on all of the layers you want to export. You can export the entire map or just part of it. Whatever is visible on the map canvas when you go to Project New Print Layout will be what gets exported. To show the entire map, either zoom in or out so the entire map is visible, or click on the biggest layer, usually the area boundary layer, and go to View Zoom to Layer. Go to Project New Print Layout. A box will appear. Enter a name and click OK. The Print Layout window will appear. Click on the Add Map button and draw a box on the canvas area. By default, QGIS draws the area that's within the visible area of the regular map canvas. As I mentioned earlier, you can also zoom in or out or move the map around when it's on the Print Layout canvas, but it's easier just to set the regular map canvas view to what you want. Go to Layout Export as SVG. The SVG Export Options box will appear. Check boxes 1, 2, and 4. The Export RDF one doesn't matter. For the Text Export setting, QGIS gives you a choice for exporting labels. Export them as outlines, so you can't edit them in Illustrator, or export them as text objects. Assuming that you might want to edit any labels in Illustrator, choose Always Export Text as Text Objects. Click Save. 
It will take a few moments to process the file, and QGIS will show a notice when it's done. Save your file and quit QGIS. Now you're ready to move to Illustrator. First, I'll open the SVG file in Illustrator. If you don't have Illustrator, you can do these steps using Inkscape, which is free. The first thing you should do is save the file in Illustrator format instead of SVG. Next, I'll open the Layers palette. I already have it open. If it's not open, go to Window and select Layers. Right now it only shows one layer instead of the separate layers we created in QGIS. What happened to all the layers? Expand this layer by clicking on the little triangle next to layer 1 and you'll see all of the layers from QGIS. Widen the layers palette enough to see the layer names. There are two layers at the bottom, background and page. These are both empty, but leave them for now. You'll see some bounding boxes around the map. There's one of these for each layer and they just get in the way, so I'll delete them. You can do this in one step. Get the Direct Selection tool, hold down the Option key, or Alt key, and draw a little box with it around the upper left corner, then delete. This will remove all of the bounding boxes, and also the bottom two layers which are empty. Don't use the regular selection tool for this, or you'll delete parts of the map. At this point, I usually rename the layers to make it easier to see what I'm doing, and to shorten the names. There are a couple of things you should be aware of when working in Illustrator. If you created any layer groups in QGIS, Illustrator ignores them. This isn't a big deal. You can create layer groups in Illustrator if you want to regroup these layers. QGIS adds a lot of unnecessary points to polygons and lines, such as roads and rivers. These can really slow down your computer and make the map hard to print. This is easy to fix in Illustrator. Select the object, such as the boundary, and go to Object, Path, Simplify. The simplify process will be applied automatically. Click on the three dots to open the panel if you want to fine-tune the settings. I usually move both sliders to the left a bit. For roads and streams, I'll select the entire layer and run Simplify. To select an entire layer, click on the little circle next to the layer name. That selects the entire layer. An important note about opacity and blending modes. If you reduce the opacity of anything in QGIS, the reduced opacity effect will carry through, but there's a catch. The effect of the reduced opacity will be preserved, but Illustrator will consider the layer to be at 100% opacity. This means that you can't increase the opacity of the object in Illustrator. You can only decrease it. If any object or layer is set to a blending mode other than normal, the SVG export process changes it to normal. This can be easily reset to the desired blending mode in Illustrator. Because of these things, if I want something in the map to have a reduced opacity or different blending mode, I set them to 100% opacity and normal mode before I export the file, then change those things in Illustrator. A note about exporting labels. You're probably wondering what size labels will be when you export a map and open it in Illustrator. I wondered this too, so I conducted an experiment. I set the font size for this map at 10 points and exported two different views of it. First, the entire world. It looks like the labels are going to be huge in relation to the map. Next, I exported a smaller section of the map. The type size here looks a lot more reasonable. Let's open both files in Illustrator. I'll zoom into the same area to check the type size. First, the map of the world. The labels are 10.075 points, close enough to the 10 points I specified in QGIS. Here's the map that I zoomed in before exporting. When I check the label size, it's also 10.075 points. What's the takeaway from this? The font size you set in the labels window is the font size that will export, regardless of the scale of the map. If you're creating a map of a large area, set the label size really small in QGIS and then export it and see how it looks in Illustrator. You can scale the labels in Illustrator, but because of how QGIS places them in relation to the city markers, you'll have to do a lot of manual adjustment. I'll talk more about working with labels in another video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
The import-export option also lets you save as a PDF. I'll talk more about this later. Important. The area of the map that's visible on the regular map canvas is what will appear in the print layout. If you only want to export part of the map, either adjust this view before going to print layout, or use the Move Item Content tool in the print layout window to adjust the position. You can also use this tool to zoom into a specific section of the map. Remember, only the part that appears in the print layout window will be exported. 